Hello, everyone. It's your boy, Donnie J. Trump, coming at you again with another President's Play video today. We're fighting over a city that I made great, New York City on the zombie game mode. Jesus Christ, Donald, that was painful to listen to. Never do an intro like that again. It was like watching one of those iPad kid intros where their main goal is to grab your attention and hold it with Subway Surfer's gameplay and decimate your attention span. Wait, what is going on? I was too busy playing my favorite game, Subway Surfers. I just downloaded the new Family Guy Clip Player DLC, so I have been playing it for literal days now. I honestly think I forgot to feed the people in my basement. I have been... Jesus, just start the game on random placement already before the cops figure out how to listen in our, our voice chats. Please, Don. Already on top of it, my friend, let's get this show on the road. Just get ready to watch me rebuild New York City again from the ruins I found it in when I took over my father's small multi-billion dollar real estate business. All right, let's do this, lads. These zombies don't stand a goddamn chance. Very foolish to assume you stand any better of a chance, Barry. He is right because I'm going to clutch this one up for the Bush bros. Wait, what the fuck is a Bush bro and why are we yelling? We're yelling because we are watching me get the fattest W in human history right here, right now with this move. Bro, what was that literally took one province? Yeah, Barry, sorry. Even I gotta admit that was kind of weak, almost as weak as my Aunt Martha, who it was said was so weak that she was unable to even lift herself up off the ground because her little legs wouldn't take her. Although this was during the great gravity flood where gravity became so abundant, it made it hard to move as gravity absorbed everything around us. But still it goes to show us the reader the moral of the story is to not consume too much Kentucky Fried Chicken or you may end up as an African-American instead of a normal person. What the fuck was that? While I agree avoiding becoming a basketball person is a very good life lesson to teach our viewers, I fail to see how it relates to our current situation. You guys are the worst sometimes, but Donald, I will say you are an honorary African-American soon considering you're gonna be spending the rest of your life in federal prison with those like, what is it at now? I honestly can't keep track. Now, guys, let's just focus on the game. Watch me clapping these zombies easy on God. 91 charges as of this moment. The charges include, but are not limited to, racketeering, forgery, perjury, filing false documents, false statements, election fraud, mishandling classified documents, obstruction of justice, conspiracy, obstructing an official proceeding, violating the Georgia RICO Act, solicitation of violation of oath by a public officer, willful retention of defense information, concealing documents from federal investigators, falsifying business records, and acting unlawfully in attempting to overturn the 2020 presidential election results. Jesus fucking Christ, what the hell, Donald? You were in office for four years, and you got enough charges to make Nixon look innocent. It's called we do a little trolling, just a little bit of trolling. Barry, you wouldn't get it. Only true gamers will understand it, my friend. Donald, why have you and Barry just been fighting over Staten Island? I mean, honestly, I don't think I ever want to step foot into that literal hell, let alone own it. This is why I need to take over control of New York City and why I'm going to win here, because clearly this city needs my help to be reborn into a beautiful capitalist utopia as it once was under Republican leadership sometime in the past. Books are for nerds, but I'm pretty sure it used to be important. Donald, your ass is not saving Staten Island. All you are gonna do is jack the rent up from $500 a month to $50,000 a month, and then do a before and after clickbait photo for the press, where it's just like this or something. Honestly, Joe, I take back what I said. I never knew you had such talent to visualize a community going from having nothing to literally living in a utopia. It brings a tear to my eye, my friend, and it's why you have always been my best friend, man. Bring it in. Wait, I thought I was your best friend. Don't worry, Bush, I am here for you. Let's just play this game and then we can go get some dinner and play a different game tomorrow. Maybe we can play some city skylines or chess or who knows. Let's see what the people in the comments say below. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what I'm saying? Like comment and subscribe, please, anyway. Yeah, let's focus on the game. Oh, so now you want to try hard now that you're losing well too late, my friend. Get ready for my secret weapon. Watch this. Hey, Joe, can you tell us about... No, Donnie, don't do it. Of course, I can tell you about the time during my childhood before the invention of horse riding. So before horse riding, we had to ride on these creatures called black people. Are you fucking serious right now? 
Bro, you cannot blame this on me. I didn't even ask him the question yet. Bro just went off on his sizo rant whenever the chance is given. However, these quote-unquote black people, we just called them basketball people most of the time anyway. They were hard to tame and control. But General Cornelius Sanders of the Far Lands, known as Chicago, invented a meal that would always make it easier to ride. We called it KFC, or Kinetic Force Controller. Since kinetic force is the only force that we had back in those times, as liberal arts had not been discovered yet, and we were stuck using only conservative art degrees. Well, that was certainly something. Damn, Donnie, it looks like our friend Joe is going to be taking over Staten Island instead of us for now. So I guess that means nobody gets the island and we have to cope. Or are you going to go on some random rant that wastes time again? Silence, Barry, you need only watch and wait as my victory and crown as the King of New York approaches and as your meager, pathetic holdings fall one by one to the Donnie domination. I bet you all my money. So like $20 and some change? Shut up, Joe. God damn it. I bet you all my money that I knock out the not baller, Barry. Next turn, just you wait. Maybe we should be a little worried about the zombies that we have been ignoring this entire event, guys. Like, what if they come to bite us in the ass when we aren't paying attention like we haven't for the entire game? You worry too much, my friend. Just sit back and relax and just play this very chill game with your best friends, bro. There's nothing to worry about. I mean, I know why he is worried. Those zombies have a keep interest in attacking him for some reason. Probably because they know what he did 22 years ago next month in Lower Manhattan, which he just so happens to own. So if I were you, Joe, I would be worried because in the end, you will not escape the sins you have committed in this mortal plane. Haha, <laughs> get fucked, loser, L plus cope plus ratio, Barry Trump, the triumphant wins again. Jesus Christ, that was some whiplash in that monologue there went from dark biblical punishment to Gen Z autism in zero seconds. Wait, Gen Z, where? I love Gen Z, man, literally, my favorite generation. That's why I keep, uh, never mind, my advisor is screaming at me to not continue what I was saying anyway. Um, guys, I don't think I won this round. Oh, well, next time is my game. Just you wait, right? Saved it. Joe, God damn it. Get your predator armies out of my area and just let me win the game already. Jesus, we have been here for a solid, like, 20 minutes now, wasting time talking about random crap. Just end it already. Just let him have his fun. Bush bro hasn't been able to leave D.C. all month. He is going a little cuckoo bananas in there. I mean, he is almost becoming coherent. It's kind of scary, to be honest. So let's just all be nice, all right? The hell you talking about? This guy has been at the beach like every other day, watching children at the beach for hours. It's almost as many times as I went golfing, which is saying a lot, to be honest. Maybe the reason he is being slightly coherent as of late is because Hillary Clinton has finally programmed her puppet correctly to give human responses instead of randomly generated bullshit. Well, there's no need to get snippy with me, Donald. You and I know damn well this White House has shitty air conditioning. This building is almost as old as me. Not physically possible, considering the stones hadn't even formed yet by the time you were born. But go on. Well, thanks to global warming, summers are getting hotter, so I went to the beach to cool off. Is that such a crazy thing? I mean, come on, man, it's a bunch of malarkey. Just let me enjoy my summers, dude. I only got so many left. You know, no need to be a whippersnapper about the whole thing. Damn it, Bush. You just barely made it by again. Looks like we're going to have to drag this out yet again, huh? I wish I was able to sigh. Sadly, I can't for some reason. I don't really know why, but whatever next turn you're going down. Hell no, man. You are the one going down. Watch this. Shit. And that's how the Big D took that massive W and ran off into the sunset as king of risk, let's fucking go. I rule these streets, fool, and you just missed with the wrong person, and now you are fucked. Watch me one-shot your ass right here, right now, like the bitch you really are. Isn't this your second attempt at a one-shot, Donnie? Shut the fuck up, Joe, and watch me take this massive win, like, comment, share, subscribe, smash that bell button, force your family to do it, or I will three-generational deport your family to Mexico. Hell yeah, motherfuckers. That's another car onto the Donnie victory train, and this train ain't stopping ever.